Okay, this is my 2016 Stamp 13 foot trailer. Base price is about 11,000. This one came out at about 14.8 because I got a whole lot of extras. My pool vehicle is a 2012 Subaru with a four cylinder, believe it or not. Okay, let's start. The first thing is the propane tank. I just got a propane tank. If I had to do it all over again, I'd recommend getting a propane gauge, which I did not get. As far as your plug-in, make sure you plug it in correctly all the time, because if you don't, that's what it's going to look like after I dragged it across Kansas from Colorado. I went to the 27 battery, which I enjoy. Up here, you got a gravel screen, and it does come off. Okay, come around here. I did get the crank-out windows. I think they're cool. Got one on each side. Down here, you have all your gauges and everything for your refrigerator. Self-explanatory. Then you got your city water right here. You got your drain outlet right there. You got your exhaust fan. Down here, you got your hookup for your cable. And of course, you got your plug-in when you get to the campsite. You got the um, crank out windows back here too. Let's go up to the roof. Okay, on the roof, that's the antenna right there because I did get a, a TV and a DVD player to keep me preoccupied at night when it's raining or whatever. Um, big ass, excuse my language, air condition. And I did get a fan on the back of it. Okay, around back, you got a slide out window right here. I did get the two inch for the bicycle rack, whatever you want to use for, if you want to put a basket on the back of it or whatever. Over here, you got your fresh water. Okay, up here, I did get the awning because you need an awning to keep out of the sun. I mean, that's just common sense. And once again, I got the crank out windows right there. And down here, I got outside receptacles so I have juice if I'm doing something outside. Up here, I did get the light. Came in real handy when you're doing something at night outside the trailer. And I also got one on the front so when you hook up, you'll have light to hook up by. Okay, walking in, I did buy me a little floor mat for Walmart, wipe my feet on. You walk straight on in and you got a two burner stove right here. You got a sink which I have covered up with a cutting board. There's your spigot and your faucet. Right here, you got your heater. You got plenty of cabinet space down here. Back under here where the crate is behind the crate, you got your electrical and your fuse box. Then over here, of course, you got your refrigerator, which ain't a bad size refrigerator. I mean, it runs off of propane, it runs off a of house current, it runs off of, you know, camp site trailer, I mean, electricity. Okay, I did get another side lamp up here for extra light. I also got a, a lamp right there. I got the front cabinet <clears throat> with plenty of space in it. I mean, I put my bath stuff in, up in there anyway. Then I got my cabinets above the stove up here. Got three of them. Got a crank out window over the stove. Okay, over here, I did get me another lamp so I've had more light. I got the side cabinets so I would have plenty of cabinet space because I couldn't put back cabinet in because of stuff I have on the roof. Another cabinet over there. There's my little TV, DVD player, and a nice 19 inch screen, I believe it is. You got your crank out window there. You got your slider window there. And another crank out window there. Step back a little bit, my bed. I'm going to keep my bed down permanently and I'll show you why in a minute. But what I did, those are the cushions. I got me a piece of one inch stable foam. Got a friend of mine to make a pillowcase for it. And it'll make my bed more stable so I'll sleep better. You know, because you can wear those cushions out laying in the same spot. I don't move a whole lot when I'm sleeping. Then right here, you got a cabinet. Plenty of storage place for your shirts or your coats. Because I'm sure up in Canada this time of year, it's probably gonna get chilly at night, so I'll be carrying a lot of coats and stuff 
okay, to get your TV to work, this is your antenna that you saw on top of the roof. You have to cut that on, and then over here, you have a green button up here that you have to turn on. You also have to plug it in. I keep it unplugged because any three of these buttons will drain your battery within one day, which I found out the hard way. Then up top here, you got your fan. Works really great. It'll blow it inside or it'll blow it outside. Then, of course, you got your big AC unit up there, which works super good. I've tried it out because I also took this trailer to South Carolina. I've used this trailer basically five weeks since I picked it up in April the 7th. And I've had no trouble at all out of it. I'm completely happy with it. Okay, up front, I did not get a bathroom because almost any place I stay will have bathroom facilities and showers and all that good stuff. And being a man, you know, it's pretty easy to take care of yourself bathroom-wise. I did get a stove cover that way and put my microwave up there. And on a rainy day, you know, if I don't want to use a stove, I got a microwave. Below the sofa, you do have plenty of storage room. And when you take that gravel cover off, you have plenty of light coming in that window right there. Okay, in order to keep my bed down all the time, I went to Walmart and just found this little $14 sturdy tray table that I can, you know, be working on my computer or eating or doing whatever I do. And I'm pretty sure that'll work out just good. I have the light up above, so I have plenty of light. And, you know, I can do whatever I need to do right there. Anyway, I hope you liked what you've seen. Once again, this is a 2016 Scamp 13 foot trailer. There's a telephone number right there. Uh, I'm really super happy with it. I've taken it on two good trips like I told you. We did a month out west and I did a week in South Carolina, North Carolina. I'm very happy with it. No problems at all whatsoever with it. And once again, I pull it with the 2012 Subaru. So it's a full cylinder, so it does the job. It doesn't, you know, dog the car out. So anyway, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel because I plan on doing a video about once a week on my travel to Canada. And like I said once again, I'm going to take about three months off and just travel from Ottawa over to Vancouver down into Washington State, Oregon, and see my son in California. So I thank you for watching the video. Subscribe or give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.